addressing a crowd that included Ukrainian refugees from a former palace in Warsaw on Saturday, President Joe Biden described Ukraine's war as a generational struggle for democracy as he tries to secure a new home in the disputed country behind winning the support of the world to collect. Democracy in the world is recovering, Biden said of the global response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Biden blasted Russian President Vladimir Putin and urged the Russian people to choose a different path for their country. He also called on Europe to end its reliance on Russian gas and unite to put pressure on Putin. Several rockets hit the western Ukrainian city of Lviv early Saturday. Two separate attacks occurred on the same day Biden visited the Polish capital, which is 45 miles from its border, officials said. The powerful explosion jolted the city, which had been a haven for hundreds of thousands of people fleeing Russian attacks on other parts of Ukraine. Regional Governor Maxim Kozitsky said on Facebook that initial indications were that five people were injured in the initial attack, but did not specify what the two rockets hit. Hours later, he reported three more explosions outside the city, without elaborating. One of Biden's comments Saturday was that Vladimir Putin cannot stay in power. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken said Saturday that the United States plans to provide Ukraine an additional $100 million in civil security assistance to help the country improve border security, protect vital government buildings and maintain civilian law enforcement functions. The funds will be used for field and tactical equipment, armored vehicles, medical supplies, personal protective equipment, and communications equipment for the Ukrainian State Border Guard and the Ukrainian National Police. Ukrainian law enforcement officials, with the vital support of the U.S. government, are working to rescue victims of brutal Russian government attacks, guide and protect convoys of people displaced by the attacks, and provide services to civilian areas ravaged by reckless and devastating destruction. A key role is played in terms of security, etc. bombing, the press release said. The United States continues to stand with the international community in supporting the people and government of Ukraine in defending their democracy and country. Blinken said the Russian attack on Ukraine was unprovoked and unjustified. We continue to call on Putin to end the violence, take control of his armed forces, including those who have committed war crimes, and choose the path of peace and diplomacy. We are committed to holding war crimes and other atrocities accountable by any means available. This includes criminal prosecutions, the press release said. Warsaw, Poland, President Joe Biden's comments on Saturday that Russian President Vladimir Putin remained in power drew a swift rebuke from the Kremlin, with comments from the White House clarifying the remarks. For God's sake, this guy can't stay in power, Biden said at the end of his speech at the Royal Castle in Warsaw. According to NBC News' Kristen Welker and Kelly O'Donnell, a source familiar with the president's statements and who verified them before their release today said the president's last line is improvised. This is not about Biden, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told Reuters directly. The Russian president is elected by the Russians. A White House official claimed Biden didn't talk about Putin's power or regime change in Russia. The official, speaking on condition of anonymity and speaking on condition of anonymity, said Biden's view was that Putin must never be allowed to exercise power over his neighbors or the region.